Greetings all you managed minds on our crimes, welcome back to another Warframe Weapon Showcase. Today, I'm actually going to be showing a very special weapon, because only Garuda has it, her talons. Now, so, here's the build. Now, these talons are pretty freaking strong, okay? But there's problems. Firstly, you can't use Blood Rush with them. It doesn't work. I've tried. It, it doesn't work. Secondly... Weeping Wounds apparently doesn't work either, which is another problem. So, I think the Gladiator set might work, but I don't have Helios. Uh, Helios' weapon, for some reason. I think I got rid of it a long time ago to try it out, but anyway. So, I'm going to be showing uh, Malicious Raptor and Vermilion Storm. Um, for Raiders, I don't really care too much about beryllium storm i don't like it too much malicious rap malicious raptor is my favorite so uh i don't even need max combo because max combo literally doesn't matter but anyway you can use garuda's four with these and of course it will make it even stronger because every single thing you'll be doing will be slash procs so level 140 corrupted heavy gunners and look at this now, imagine if you could use Weeping Wounds with this. Imagine if you could use Blood Rush with this. Holy fuck. Yeah, the damage is pretty crazy. Now, am I going to say that these are the strongest melee weapons in the game? No, this is definitely not. Um, but, god damn. It's always nice to see, uh, I'm, well, you could call them exalted if you want, but special weapons like this being as strong as this. That's great. So, would you use this over, say, a Zaw, Cronin Prime, uh, put in random meta head shit here weapon? Maybe not, but claws are pretty fun. Uh, I wish there were more. I wish you could have Zaw Claws. That would be sick. I would absolutely love that. Um, anyway. Then we move on to Verilium Storm. The stance that, you know, is better. It's stronger, but I don't like it as much. Mostly because this combo looks stupid as hell to me. But, yeah. So, I'm going to explain in a minute why having Weeping Wounds and Blood Rush on this thing would be ridiculous. Uh, I'll just slash up a few more of these guys. So... Let me actually just do this. So, alright. If this thing had the ability to put on Weeping Wounds. Now, 79% status chance with this with this mod setup. Oh boy, red text. Yeah, I'm I'm recording this while red text is going on. Anyway, so, 79% status chance plus Weeping Wounds. If I'm doing the math right in my head, which I'm probably not because I still don't understand the formula, that would equate to well over 200% status chance with a weapon that is basically all slash and has pretty high base damage. Then you add in Blood Rush's effects. So uh, like this, you well, basically I would replace like True Steel with Blood Rush and the critical chance would go up to probably around like 110, 120 percent, something like that. So you'd be orange critting and guaranteed yellow crits. That would be insane. So all of that damage would accommodate to making Garuda's Claws ridiculously overpowered. And 
they are already really freaking strong. These claws are no damn joke. They do a lot of damage, they're pretty fast, and they have uh, good stances to them. So, why can't you use Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds with them? Beats me. Well, last thing I want to do is actually use Garuda's 4 with uh, these claws. So, Garuda's 4 guarantees slash procs and also staggers enemies. And um, so. Yeah, this damage is a little ridiculous. And here's the cool thing about Garuda. Her damage does not, especially against Grenier and uh, Infesta, not so much Corpus because shields are a thing now. Um, yeah, she doesn't really have a damage cap, uh, an enemy level cap. So if I do something like this, I've shown this off so many times, but if you do something like this, Yeah, the enemies just get absolutely obliterated. And I don't even have that much range on this Garuda. This is more of a tank build. I'll show my build in a second. Uh, your build does not affect the, the Talons at all. Um, but Seal Charge does. And also all uh, melee Arcanes do. So one last thing I'm actually going to do is put on Arcane... Fury, wherever it is. Ah. So on critical hit, 10% more melee damage. Well, 10% chance for more melee damage. Yes, I know. Scrub Lord here. Don't have it maxed because, you know. I'm also going to just do this because fun. And it refreshes, so. Yeah. These claws really are no joke. They are really freaking powerful. It is such a shame that you can't use Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds with them. Because if you could, holy fuck. So, am I going to use these over any of my other melee weapons? Mm, not really. Though, it's not, they're not a bad option. Especially if you're new to the game. And you don't exactly have, you know, quote-unquote, the best of the best melee weapons. These things will definitely serve you very, very well. And with very minimal investment. This is only a one form of build. Now, yes, Condition Overload is an endgame mod, a quote-unquote endgame mod. You're not going to have access to Primed Reach. But everything else here isn't too, too hard to get. Uh, Verlant Scores, you get this from Corrupted Boar in the Void, or like 510 Plat in the market. And Vicious Frost, you get this from Spy Missions, and Fever Strike drops all over the goddamn place. Now you could be saying, oh, Prime Fever Strike. Does it look like I have it? Um, plus, I would have to add another Forma. Nah. So, all of this being said, Garuda's Talons are great. They're, they're very, very good. But the fact that you cannot use Blood Rush or Weeping Wounds kind of kind of takes away some of their damage. Now, I'm not lying here when you when I say you cannot use Weeping Wounds or Blood Rush because I've tried both and they do not work. Are they bugged? Maybe. But anyway, these things are good. They're not like, you know, they're not going to out damage the quote unquote top melee weapons in the game. I say quote unquote because sometimes it's pretty subjective what you mean top. Uh, but if you can, in fact, you know, use the gladiator sets, set mods, you, I think you should be able to get these things to orange crit at the very least. But. You know, that's fine. It, it, it's fine. They're they're a special weapon for Garuda only. So I just really, really do hope that DE goes back and looks at these things again and uh, as Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds able to do their thing. 
because holy fuck, I would love, love to use these things in long survival runs and steel path. But the fact that you can't use weeping wounds or blood rush means their damage falls off uh, in the steel path. Not terribly quickly, but it, it's definitely noticeable. So let me, one last thing. When I, when I talk about damage fall off, let's take a weapon that people know can deal with high level enemies really, really fast. So, you know, the Cronin Prime, right? So this kind of build, the Cronin Prime... I think everyone knows what's going to happen here. This is the difference that Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds makes. Yeah. If Grudus Talons could use Weeping Wounds and Blood Rush, it would be doing that sort of thing. One more melee weapon that people may or may not use in the steel path is something like, I don't know, the Prisma Dual Cleavers. So. I'm just, I'm just giving uh, some examples here. Everyone has different melee weapon tastes. Um, so yeah, th this really is the difference between not having Weeping Wounds and Blood Rush and actually having those. Now, yeah, I'm not red critting here, but just having guaranteed crits is enough. Also, I'm hitting many different statuses with a single melee swing because, you know, Weeping Wounds makes this go above 100%. This video is probably like five minutes longer than it needed to be, but I just wanted to give some examples what it looks like when you do and don't have Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds with melee weapons. That's why melee weapons are so strong. You can have red crits and like two different statuses being procced at the same time. That's just yikes. Plus condition overload, yikes. So that's why melee weapons work so damn well in the steel path because they don't give a shit. So thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, in Trilby, we trust.